Hey guys, it's Fisher Timmy here, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Rage. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get all the codes, how to enter them, and what they actually do. So I haven't actually done a video on Dragon Ball Rage in I think like a month or two. It's been a bit, but I've actually did two really solid videos on Dragon Ball Rage. Like I see there's demand there, and since now there's been new content to the game, such as codes, and I believe a new boss, I might be trying to show those off in these videos. So this is the first video I'm going to be doing. So yes, we're about to, I'm about to show you the codes, okay? So don't go anywhere. Essentially what you want to do is you want to hit the menu and you're going to see this little codes button. You click on that, it says enter a code here. Now the first code is going to be sorry guys. Yeah, that, that's awful. Um, what, what, what would you call it? It's, that's awful happy, isn't it? Redeem it. Unlocked a free Zenkai. And what that means is look, I'm Zenkai 6 now. What? Yeah, I'm Zenkai 6, but I kept all my stats. And that is a really solid one because that just saves you so much time. Do you know how much time it takes to get a Zenkai? Put it this way, a long time. And now I just got a free one right there and I kept all my progress. So that's a really, really good code. Then the next code we got is something called Saiyan Bismo. I, I don't even know how to say this. I'm not even going to try. But this is what it looks like. It's also going to be on the screen for you guys right there. And all you want to do is hit that redeem button and unlock double or well, two times stats for I think an hour no two hours you get two hours of double stat stats as a reward so that's pretty good and I'm not gonna probably use it at all even though I probably should but I just want to show it off in this video so I'm sacrificing my own training time but to be honest I haven't really you can see I'm Zenkai 6 which isn't terrible I could have been like to the max but I just don't like this game's way of training you're not actually fighting really you're just auto clicking overnight or throughout the day which isn't terrible but it's just not my favorite thing to do plus it takes up your computer screen so it's like i kind of need to use my computer throughout the day i don't want to be auto clicking all day and at night i just don't care to have my computer on just to be grinding in this game it's not a terrible game but it needs a lot of work done and i think the owner is back and actually updating it now and that's why there was the code that said sorry guys he's probably just saying sorry it's been so long since i've actually done anything this game has a lot of potential but it's going to need a lot of work done to actually be something. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Because I will be doing more videos on this game. If you actually like these kind of videos, put it in the comments. If you want to see me do some more professional Dragon Ball Rage type videos, just let me know. Because I don't know how you guys will respond to them still. Like, sometimes they do okay, sometimes they don't. So I'm just a little bit wary of trying to do videos on this game. But it's a lot of fun sometimes. Sometimes. Like, the moves are okay. But as you can see, there's not that many choices, and I think a lot of them just suck. I think Godbreaker was one of the ones I always use. Perfect transmission, because you could just teleport somewhere. And then I think all of these just really sucked, most of them. It's just most of the moves didn't do that much damage, and or you just couldn't land a hit, or they were just really wonky. The combat in this game is pretty crap, to be honest. That's just my opinion. You can have your own opinion. If you think it's the best Dragon Ball game of all Roblox, you can believe that. It's just me, personally, I don't think it is. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's definitely not the best Dragon Ball game on Roblox in my opinion. But for mobile mobile players, maybe they enjoy this more. This compared to Dragon Ball Ultimate, I have to say that I like Dragon Ball Ultimate more, even though Dragon Ball Ultimate is super lazy. It's still better than this. But if this game starts updating more than Dragon Ball Ultimate, this is going to be a big step up. This game could actually be better. And it wouldn't take that long because DBU has getting like, it's seeing like no updates. The owner is just really terrible at updating he's really terrible at just managing the game to be honest that's just the truth i think like every single dragon ball game maybe besides final stand actually does better than dragon ball ultimate dragon ball rage was doing worse but now even dragon ball rage is starting to update so i'm i'm interested to see where this game's gonna go how many bosses are they gonna add what are they gonna do so well i guess the time only the time can tell i guess but uh I might go explore in this video and just see if I can find a new boss. You might be watching this video and already know where it is, but I don't. <laughs> I've, I've missed out on this game quite a bit, and that's why I'm just kind of making this video. So this video is about codes, yes, but because I got to get to that 10 minute mark. Okay, <laughs> okay but I'm going to be real. A lot of people are like, okay, how does it take you 10 minutes to do two codes? The truth is, it doesn't take me 10 minutes. I get the codes out of the way right at the start. But then I do something else fun or exciting that my viewers might want to watch through the rest of the video. Why do I do that? Because number one, it's fun. And my fans, they actually enjoy watching me get something to see. 
And number two, it helps me rank in the YouTube algorithm. If you want to be a big YouTuber, you just got to do that. I, it's very rare that someone can make a short video and be like top of the search for very long. Because this is hard to explain, but trust me, 10 minute videos are the way to go. So I'm just going to be recording like another five, six minutes of me searching around for new boss, checking out new updates, seeing if I can find anything. And yeah. So let's see if we can find this new boss. One thing about this game is I don't really care for its combat or its flying. Like, it's just the movement is so clunky. Look at this flying. I don't know. If you go play any of the other Dragon Ball games when you're flying, it feels so smooth. But in this one, it's just clunky. I don't know how to put it. You just have to kind of play it for yourself. It's very, very weird, okay? I can't even, like, fly to the left or the right hardly. It's, like, super slow. There's some guys over here. I wonder what this is about. I'm a little bit scared to go find out, but I guess we're going to go find out because, you know, content. <laughs> uh, I don't hack. I'm guessing that's the angel form I've heard about, or is that the angel form? I don't know, but they look both look very, very cool. I got wings, but I'm, I'm not even in a form, so I look pretty lame. But look at all these dudes. Some form of Frostverse. Like, these guys just like the looks of the form, which I can't blame you. This, this game does have some pretty good looking horrors, in my opinion. In my opinion, I really like the origin in this game. I like liquid. I don't know how to put it. It's just, they look really, really cool. Some of them are really creative. That's like the main thing. What is that over there? Is that a boss? Did I find the boss already? I think I might have found the boss. I don't know. I see something. That's a person. What the heck? What? Okay, wow. Wow. I, I got my hopes up for a second there, thinking that I'd found the boss. And then I just found a random person. That's great. That's amazing. Let's see what these people are saying. I'm just over. I don't know what they're doing. This is the cell arena. I could have swore they added a new boss, like Raditz or something, for the update. Maybe it was like only for a limited time, which would be kind of weird. But I guess we shall go look around and see. Because if they have a new boss, I'll fight it on camera. I think I can handle it. Unless it's like super OP. I guess we'll see. But currently, the only boss I know about is Goku. It's been the only boss. But if they added a new boss, I guess we're about to go find out. Actually, no, I'm going to go look this up. I'm going to look this up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so from the video I saw, it was in some kind of arena, so I'm wondering if it's in the World Tournament. I'm, I'm thinking it could be there, and if not, I'll go look over there. But I think it's near the World, world Tournament. If it hasn't been taken away. I don't know if it's been taken away yet. Halloween's passed, so I guess we're just going to go see... I don't know if it was like a temporary boss or if it's still there. It's gonna be it's gonna be unfortunate if I uh, miss the boss, to be honest. But I guess we'll just go see. What the heck is our barrier? What in the world? What is what is this? What what is this flying? I'm like being propelled off of the leaves. That makes no sense. Okay, so this is I'm pretty sure this is the area. I was in one of the corners, and I am not seeing it at all. I'm thinking the boss is just gone. Which would make sense. I think the boss was only a Halloween event. Which, I guess we can't fight it then. I guess we can't fight it. But, if I find out something more, or if I find another boss, I'm definitely going to make a whole video on that. Go fight it. And just show you guys where you can find it. Stuff like that. But I think that Halloween boss was a one-time only thing, and now it's just gone. Which is really depressing. But, maybe there will be more, because the guy is back, and they're updating the game now. And there was a new boss. Like the first one in a long time. So maybe we'll find something other than just Goku. I just got completely murdered. Because I was doing something off camera. And then this guy just completely killed me. He hit me one time. This guy right over here. He killed me. It's just so fast. Okay. Um. Speaking of which. I can do one thing. I can show you guys one of the extra modes. Like we got Super Saiyan Fury. That's what this looks like. It's kind of lame. Basically, it goes straight to your strongest form. So it acts as if I'm in my strongest form, but I just look different. It's like a cosmetic change. Legendary Super Saiyan God. I kind of like this one, but it doesn't really fit my character. And I think I got Super Saiyan 5, which I, I really like how this one looks. I don't know if it really fits me, though, because it's like a random white instead of black. But they're all pretty cool. I think the Super Saiyan 5 is probably my favorite. This one just doesn't exactly look right. But yeah, that's all of those. And I guess that's really all I can talk about in this video. That's the codes. That's what they do. And they're really helpful. Like, especially that free Zenkai. Like, man, that's a lot of time saved, in my opinion. Like, that's like a whole night's worth of grinding just in one code. I'm hoping they'll give more codes out like that. Maybe not too many because it could break the game. 
but more helpful codes and more helpful bosses to help the grinding process stuff like that that way we don't have to auto click all the time you know so if you guys enjoyed this Dragon Ball Rage video let me know in the comments leave a like subscribe because I might be doing more videos on this game and I also do videos on Shinobi Life 2, Dragon Ball Ultimate and more so that's gonna be it for this video and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe this is Timmy signing out